Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So the journal is complete and um, I want to share with you all of the pages um, that I did and how I did it. And um, it's super duper simple. It's just everything I had around me, including the shipping tape that I had bought recently. So, um, for those of you who are not interested in seeing every single page, skip to the end and you'll see it, at, you can just see it at the end. Um, but basically, uh, what I did was I sewed all the fabrics that we had laid out together with the sewing machine. So, I did that because the uh, Sachiko stitching for each piece, uh, right now because I'm doing many other projects, may have taken way too long. For me to get back to you. So I did add a Sashiko piece in here and you'll see that. So um, this is just simply twine that I got at the thrift shop. I tied it in a little knot. I loosened it and glued it right on and it made by itself these loopy loops kind of like an infinity knot. So I just love it. Um, I kept the binding tied with ribbon. I just did it two times so to hold the pages in place. This is the uh, tape that I just simply cut and taped. And I taped a piece of uh, artificial flower on there. And the theme ended up really being flowers kind of in here because um, you'll see the flowers going through. So this was the, um, the journal uh, signature that we worked on uh, together a while ago. And so that I just left that the way it is. This is a um, plastic bag that I just cut and made into a pocket. And I put another little insert here that I made a fabric collage with the sewing machine, fabric and paper, and just sewed it like that. So um, I am, let's see if I can hold this. I'm afraid to put it down because if I turn the camera, I might lose you. I've done this a few times. <laughs> so that's the pocket. And in the pocket, I have another little dried uh, flower baby breath. So this is um, a pocket. There's a lot of pockets here because the whole point of the journaling, right, is to capture those thoughts and everything. And you know, especially during this season, things can be so stressful, even when your life is going beautifully. But if you have bumps in the road or valleys, and we all do, it seems none of us are excused from these valleys or bumps. Uh, having a journal like this to go to, to kind of channel, I have a venue to channel that energy, I believe is super important. And it's a really healthy way to capture uh, what you're thinking, what you want to do, and what you want your life to look like. So the pockets are a really good place to kind of stick little notes, uh, put little aesthetics there for you to brighten up your day and whatnot. And um, because when you write out here, you're kind of just seeing it. This is kind of holding it in a safe place. So um, anyway, these pages I left blank and uh, another pocket here with the fabric sewn on to that fat to the uh, um, other uh, contrasting fabric. And um, now I used paint. I used acrylic paint. And this is not even sealed yet because I just finished this. I used, um, and you don't want to cake the paint. Like you don't want to use thick, thick acrylic paint. If you use fabric paint, that's great. But either of these paints, if you make them too thick and they're turning through the journal, it will crack or it will fall off. Now I used, uh, or you could use also Mod Podge sealant. But this you don't want to make too thick either. As for markers, I used blunt tip, because you're going to see these in a minute. I used blunt tipped markers, permanent markers. 
blunt tipped, you can see the lines much better. Um, I used water-based water -based markers for the pages. Some of the pages, you'll see I did a design freehand kind of doodling type deal. This type of marker you do not want to use on fabric. You want to use your blunt tipped markers on fabric. If you use your fine tipped markers on fabric, uh, it may not catch it. You may not see the lines very well. So um, that's what we did there. And oops, some of these fabric pages I just left because I want the person who I'm gifting this to to be able to fill those pages. So there's a little heart aesthetic. This is a pocket that I made by sewing the textured fabric onto that vintage fabric. And I put a sticker of Vermont in there. And these are stickers that my son makes in all different colors and all different states. So we got that, and this is a sunflower just for aesthetics. This is another sunflower that I drew with um, marker, and this is just um, an aesthetic. So I left all this so they can draw or they can draw or write on there. This is the doodling of flowers. This was the. Um, tea stained uh, old looking envelope that I had in there and I just glued the bottom and I put this insert in there so this is all doodling how adorable is that whoops a daisy put that back in and this page I left blank and then there's a little heart and look at this look how adorable if you can see the cat I drew the cat and I put the little flowers, I glued the little baby breath flowers on. This is more just me drawing hearts, writing the word peace, writing the word what I love. And this is a stone because we used stones. <laughs> I glued a stone onto the paper and then I painted it with acrylic. So um, maybe this person loves collecting stones. Um, and there's a little pocket for them to put it, their stones in. So and there's the word love. This is just an insert glued and uh, more space for them to write because I think that's super important. This is a doily, if you can see it, and the doily is folded so they can open it and write their thoughts there. Is another pocket and more pages for the person who has this to adorn. And that is, and at the very end, another pocket with flowers. So it came out, I think, really super adorable. Now, if I wanted, I could put another, um, I could take some of this twine. And I was thinking this because the reason I like this um, fabric to be, this uh, journal to be, um, just tied like that at the binding is because you can take it apart so easily and you can um, change it because people do change their minds. <laughs> they change their interests, but this, this just makes it a little more um, flexible, you might say. So um, anyway, I wanted to share this with you today. I didn't want to make this too long. I started out with a video sh uh, showing you. Uh, I was painting and sharing that with you. 
I had my paintbrush out and everything, and then I turned the video and I lost everything. So I said, well, you know what? I'm just, I said I would share with you the, the finished product. <laughs> so, so here it is. And um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, you know, what I have done is pretty much just lined up the stack of fabrics and just kind of fold through it like that. And um, when each piece was drying, I took it out away from the other pieces. When I finished painting my painting, I let it dry. Acrylic, these acrylics dry fast. So, um, and this is the glue. I used tacky glue, which is non-toxic. Mod Podge, if you want to give your fabric a sealant. Uh, this Mod Podge works on all surfaces and it's non-toxic. And this isn't an advertisement. Now the stone that I glued, um, I did use this uh, tacky glue, but when I work, I made this many, many years ago. When I work with stone sculpting and I do that, you'll see it, I'm coming back to this, I'll be putting it on Sachi. I use cement glue and you have to be super careful with that. You have to have your gloves on. But for this project, I was putting one tiny little stone that isn't really heavy. So this covers all surfaces, so this should work and it's holding the stone in place. So um, anyway, I wanted to share with you that yes, you can use uh, shipping tape, you can use twine, you can use stickers, you can use rocks and shells, uh, stamping, your markers, there's so many ways. Feathers, you can use so many different ways to adorn your journal. And once you do that, it comes alive. It pops. So, um, and there's even more I could do to the cover here. So, uh, but for now, I'm going to leave it. You know what I was thinking with this cover? Actually, you know what? I am going to do this. I just get this vision that pretty, kind of pretty uh, flowers yellow in the center would look adorable here. So I'm just taking some of my acrylic paint. I'm putting some dots on it. And now I'm going to put, look at that though, just the dots. I, you know what? Let's do that. Actually, well, no, because the theme is flowers. So actually, let's, uh, if I have red paint, let's see. I have a drawer full of acrylic paints, and some of these paints are old. Let's see. This is a good acrylic paint. Okay, let's do this. Let's make these into flowers and see with the yellow and the red and see how these pop. Now we gotta do different color flowers for it to pop though. So we need, uh, because the same color, I'm just gonna show you, I'm just stop right there. Here's some yellow and reds. If it's the same, this isn't going to pop. So we need some lavender, and hopefully I have some or some light pink. Yeah. Hopefully this will do. And I say that because my paints are on the other side of the room, and if I don't have the right paint, I'll have to leave the camera because I'm not shutting it off. <laughs> so we've got some light pink and yes, this is going to pop. Now you do not need to be an artist 
to the point, you know, where you're making, like, you are making everything like a realis realism, like a photograph. Art is meant to be a process, and everyone has the process that works for them. Whether it's realism, surrealism, your uh, mine is more impressionistic, expression, abstract expressionism, and uh, I could learn all the tricks of the trade and do a reality-based, like photographic type deal, but it would stress me out. It would stress me. I already know it would stress me. So I want to be able to uh, freely just paint. So look at this. Oh, this is adorable. I'm loving this. Okay. So uh, what I'm probably going to do is work a little bit more on this. And I may bring it up and over I'm not sure um, but anyway I wanted to share this with you today and um, I hope you're having a beautiful um, December we have a really warm December here in Vermont and I'm inside I have a I don't even need a sweater or coat or um, shirt over this long sleeves I don't need them so um, and I turned the temperature down so it's like it's probably 40 degrees outside today. But anyway, with that, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, now, someone was asking for a project on the yo-yos. So um, that will be the next. They want to know how to make them. So I have done videos on that, but I'm going to come back over and around and show you how to make a yo-yo. So um, anyway, you have a beautiful day and thank you so much for being with me today.